G'day, Alistair Christie here from LearnDelphi.tv, and in this video we're going to take a look at extracting zip files, and we're going to do a little bit of multi-threaded coding. Now, I had a thought, I was reading Dahlia's book, uh, Thread Safety Patterns in Delphi, or Delphi Thread Safety Patterns, and I thought, could you use, somehow write some uh, multi-threaded code to extract from a zip file? And I had a bit of a play around, and I came up sort of some, with some sample code like this, uh, which does not work. And we can see that, uh, in fact, Dahlia has answered the question saying no. There's issues with um, streaming inside the zip file. So let's, let's write this code anyway, uh, and then we'll look at a solution to it. So, uh, well, actually, before we get too carried away, Let's have a look at the single-threaded version I've written here. So we're opening up a zip file, which just contains a bunch of video files, and I'm extracting them to a temporary folder. And I'm using a stopwatch um, from system.diagnostics to start a stopwatch and then just print out the elapsed time in the memo. And we're just iterating through and extracting uh, each file. In fact, let's go like this and say one dot we'll, we'll do the um, file names by okay so if we run that run our single th threaded version we see we're extracting files and it takes about five seconds to extract these um, six video files So in our bad button, go, well, in fact, I'll just copy and paste this. But for now, I'm going to, no, we'll leave all the, that in. I'm going to take that out because, um, oh, let's comment it out for now. Because it's a, a complication anyway. So we want to create our zip file and what have you, open it, and then In tparallel.4, we want to specify a stride of one, so each file within the file is going to get extracted in its own thread. And we're going from zero to the z dot file count minus one. And then we need a procedure. It takes a parameter of an integer. And begin. And we come down to there. I think that's kind of what it's meant to look like. So we're opening our zip file, and then for every file within the zip file, we are attempting to extract it, so all at once. But if we go bad, we get a, a data error. Some strange things happen. There's some uh, streaming issues within the zip file. And I'll just reset that program. So doing it that way does not work. And this is pretty much what Dahlia has said uh, in her answer. And I've, I've given that the, the correct answer. But there are some other things we could try. Uh, in particular, if we use different instances of tzip file. So... Let's do the good multi-threaded version. And what I'll do is just copy and paste this for now. So we want to um, uh, ah, and what I forgot to do. It doesn't work anyway, as <laughs> um, remove that for loop. So we want to get rid of that. Like so. Let's undo that because I've gone. Let's do it in this one. Okay, so I messed that up slightly. Sorry. We can confirm that still doesn't work. 
get the same, same decompression kind of error, or similar error, error anyway. And so let's copy all that from bad to good. Now what we want to do is in here throw in all our zip file oops, creation code and we'll free the zip file after we extract our file. I don't want too many there. And I'm just going to say var. So we don't need that anymore. And that i is pretty redundant too. But we have one minor problem in that we don't know the number of files within the zip file. Well, I know what it is. It's six. So we'll specify five there. Just to get around that, we'd have to open another copy of the zip file to determine uh, how, many, how many files we need to extract. So now we're creating a thread. And in, inside, well, we're creating a thread for each zip file. So we're creating six threads and extracting um, each of those uh, files. So if we run it this time and run good, we'll see that it takes about two seconds. And if we run our single threaded version, we get five seconds. So we've, we've improved the performance by a factor of um, two and a half, which is pretty good. But considering I have uh, 12 cores inside this um, this machine, uh, each hyper-threaded, so that gives potential of uh, 24 threads. Um, two and a half is not, not, not very exciting, but it's better than nothing. And we're pretty much uh, IO bound, I think, is the, the issue. This is something that David Heffernan suggested. Um, somewhere, ah oh, yeah, there we go, what's the benefit of this? Probably disk bound, um, but the only reason it's not disk bound is that I have a NVMe SSD um, drive in there, the PCIe 4, very fast. <laughs> so it can probably keep up a little bit with the CPU, but not 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 very much. So um, yeah, that's the, um, that is extracting the zip file using multiple threads. Now, one other suggestion, uh, in that is that uh, in the Jedi JCL, there is a uh, 7-zip support, which I've yet to try out. I probably will at some point when I get a chance. But that, I think, would effectively mean um, you're going to get 7-zip um, is pretty amazing in its performance. Um, it's, yeah. <laughs> so that's probably the way, uh, the way to go to get the, the best performance. Now, you might remember from the single threaded version that it's printing out the file names as it's extracting. So it might be nice to do that for the uh, multi-threaded version as well. So if we go in here, and if I get to uncomment that line, really we can't do that because our memo one, it's a VCL control and it's sitting inside it needs to it needs to be accessed from the main thread, which is not a problem because we can go tthread dot synchronize and then just pass in an anonymous method. And there. Now, actually, this doesn't work because let's run it and then I'll explain why. If I click bad, ah, <laughs> what I was meant to do was click good. If I click good, it just hangs and doesn't do anything. Uh, and the reason for this is because the parallel for loop uh, emulates the behavior of a regular for loop in that it blocks the um, main thread. So you know, this, this, this line here doesn't execute until all the threads have finished. And calling synchronize means we want to um, execute this in the main thread and we end up with a deadlock because 
uh, this can't execute until this for loop finishes, and the for loop obviously can't finish until synchronize is uh, executed. So we could use Q instead, uh, but that's not very helpful, and you'll see why. Because it file must be open. Ah, <laughs> because um, basically now, ah, go break. Now this is being executed once the um, for loop has been executed. So it's uh, each one of these Q um, procedures is being executed just before, uh, or maybe even just after uh, the elapsed time is being calculated. So um, we do want to use synchronize. Oops. So we do want to use synchronize, but we actually need to execute the parallel for loop in a background thread, which means um, I could either use a T task um, or create anonymous thread and we need to specify a procedure that doesn't take any parameters and we come down to here your end and that should all be correct and of course we've got uh, this needs to be synchronized as well so through that end and so let's end that to there. So our very little simple uh, for loop has become quite a monster and uh, terminate the program. A nice thing about Daffy 11 is that a lot of the uh, ID insight and all that kind of stuff works while you're debugging. Um, let's run that. And I think if I've got everything correctly, and I've, what I've forgotten to do is I do this quite regularly, is dot start. File must be open. Uh, yeah, obviously, we need to free that after synchronize. Okay, that should do it. And we're still getting out, sort of uh, taking two seconds or so. So that's what. I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you got some insights about system.zip and the parallel, parallel programming IP, um, API um, and using Synchronize uh, appropriately. So I will mention I have written a book. Uh, if I go to learndelphi.tv, uh, here is my book. Uh, Code Faster in Delphi, which you can get from Amazon or LeanPub. So if you want to print or digital copy. And also there is the, oops, I'll go back one, Megapack. Uh, and in the Megapack, you can actually buy the, the, the um, videos in it separately, but there is a video on zip compression in Delphi. So if you wanted to learn a lot about uh, how to do zip compression, um, I haven't actually finished it yet, so it's currently half price, uh, but there's still quite a lot of content in there. So yeah, enjoy. So I'm Alistair Christie. If you want to support my efforts on YouTube, please do give me a, a like and or subscribe, and even better, purchase a copy of my book or one of my videos. So thanks for watching. I'm Alistair Christie.